Hi, it's Helen from crochetmantra.com. Welcome. Let's get creative. So to begin our puff stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to build on the stitches that we've done. The foundation row of chains and the next row was a row of single crochet. I've chained one and I've turned my work. To do our first puff stitch, we yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a big loop. One, two, three, four and five times. Yarn over and pull through all of the loops that were on your hook. Give it a, a pull just to pull them together and into the next stitch insert your hook, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two and that's a single crochet. To make our next puff stitch yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch along, pull up a loop and we're going to do this five times. One, two, three, four and five, all into the same stitch, five loops, yarn over, pull through all of those loops and in the next stitch along put a single crochet and you'll see what that's doing is pushing the puff stitches out and it's pushing them to the front side of the work because we're working on the back side of our work. Now we'll do another one. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Going under both loops, yarn over, pull up a big loop. One, same stitch, two, three, four and five. Five loops. Yarn over and pull through all five loops. Into the next stitch along, put a single crochet. I'll put links up if you need to refresh on, on any of these stitches. Into the next stitch along, which is there, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop and we do this five times. One, two, oh, something's gone wrong there. Let me just pull this out. So we'll start that one again. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. See how easy it is if you make a mistake, you can just pull it back until you get to the part where it's right again. Two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through all of those loops. Take your time into the next stitch, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Yarn over into the next stitch, 
pull up five loops. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over, pull through all of those loops. Into the next stitch, place a little single crochet and that anchors the stitch in place. Yarn over into the next stitch along and don't don't worry about if your work's curling it will sort itself out just straighten it out and you'll find where you're at so we're going to go into this next stitch here yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through a loop one two three, four, and five. Five loops. Yarn over, pull through all of the loops that were on your hook, and in that next stitch here, place a single crochet to anchor it down. Yarn over, Insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, that's two loops, yarn over, pull through, three loops, four loops, and five loops, five loops on our hook. If you pull it quite firmly, it makes it much easier to run your hook through the loops. And in the next stitch, place a single crochet to anchor it in place, like that. And we're nearly at our end now. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up two loops, pull up the third loop, pull up the fourth loop, and the fifth loop, and give it a good tug. Yarn over, pull through. Single crochet in the next stitch and that holds it in place. Yarn over into the next stitch. We're going to do it again, five loops into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Five big loops, give it a tug, yarn over, pull through all of those loops and into your last stitch place a single crochet, making sure that you go through <clears throat> both of the loops. and chain one and turn your work. And you'll see a row of lovely puff stitches. The second row is easy. What you have to do is into each stitch along, put one 
single crochet. Like so. If you tip your work slightly towards you, you'll be able to see the stitches quite clearly. Here they are. Let me show you. Here's the row of stitches that we're putting a single crochet into. Every stitch, just put one single crochet. And I'm coming now to the end of the row. So I'm going to put in a single crochet here and into the last stitch another single crochet and chain one and turn. So once again we're on the back of our work. So when we make our next row of puff stitches they'll point out to the front. So we do exactly the same thing, so I'll just show you a couple and then you'll be on your way. Yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook and pull up a loop, a big loop. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull up four more loops, so that's two, three, four, and five. Five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull them through. Into the next stitch there, place one single crochet, like so. Into the next stitch here, in, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull up the second loop, yarn over, pull up a third loop, yarn over, pull up a fourth loop, yarn over and pull up a fifth loop, five loops. And then give it a good tug. What you could find sometimes is you get stuck halfway through. Just take your time and your patience and it will go through. Into the next stitch, place one single crochet. And we just simply continue that along. And then we started on our second row of puff stitches. So I'll do one more with you in slow motion so you can see. So we've just done our single crochet, yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a big loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a second loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a third loop. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up your fourth loop. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull it through again and that's your fifth loop. Give it a good pull away, yarn over and slide your hook through. And into the next stitch is your locking stitch. So that is a single crochet and that locks it into place. And there's our third puff stitch. So that's the puff stitch. I hope you enjoy it. It is one of my absolute favourite stitches. Good luck. I'd love to hear your comments. Please subscribe and hit the bell. There's a whole series of beginner stitches for you to, to practice, to refresh yourself, to learn. And then you'll be able to go and make anything that you want. So please subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. New videos every Tuesday. Bye for now.